Well, 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 folks, have we have, do we have such an unclever devil right here? Just read the title and his bright idea and his foolishness will not cease to amaze you. Nebraska man accused of posing as high school student, paid teen for raunchy photos, asked another to lose her virginity to him. And that's according to the police. And shout out to Todd, man, for bringing us this story. And look at this devil right here, man. Oh, folks, I mean, you are going to trip when we read this story, okay? Let's get into the details. A 26-year-old Nebraska man has been arrested after he allegedly enrolled as a high school student and engaged in allegedly questionable conversations with multiple underage girls, according to authorities. On June 1st, the Lincoln Police Department reported an individual impersonating a student under the name of Zach Hess. The man was later identified as Zachary Sheets, and he reportedly pretended to be a 17-year-old enrolled at Northwest High School before transferring to Southeast High School during the 2022-2023 school year, officials said. Sheik allegedly used fraudulent documents in order to enroll in the school and created an elaborate backstory according to an arrest affidavit. At a recent press conference, Lincoln Assistant Chief of Police Brian Jackson said Sheik attended 54 days of school, stood 5 foot 4, and weighed 120 pounds. Jackson added that Sheik blended in with other students. So this dude was his age and he enrolled in high school, right? During the investigation, police determined Sheik actually graduated from Lincoln Public Schools in 2015. While he was fraudulently enrolled in the school, Sheets is accused, is accused of having inappropriate contact with multiple juvenile students while on school property. Sheets allegedly was texting young girls, KOLN TV reported. In the messages, police said that Sheets would continue to reinforce his false identity as a peer and, and discuss things like classwork and high school sports. Sheets reportedly conversed with the minors for months, and he even met girls' families, KOLN TV reported. Police said Sheets allegedly tried to have sex with a 14-year-old girl in February, KOLN TV reported. In March, he also asked a 13-year-old student to meet for sex and question if she lose her virginity to him as well as send sex with explicit photos in exchange for money, police said. Investigators allegedly were able to recover evidence of at least one payment. On July 20th, Sheik was arrested and charged with sexual assault, use of an electronic device, and sex trafficking of a minor, according to officials. He was booked into the Lancaster County Jail and is being held on a $250,000 bond. The investigation is ongoing and the school district is cooperating with the investigation. Boy, I tell you, man, I, these devils do something wicked, strange, and evil every day. Every day it's a different devil doing something different, man. And here this dude is, 26 years old. This is how bold this predator was, this sexual predator. He was bold enough and confident enough and let his perversion of wanting to harm children have him enroll in the high school where he can have access at all the minors at his disposal. I mean, look how wicked that idea was. And just as parents, we have to be concerned about our children. How did he get, how did he get past, past teachers? I'm pretty sure, and, and, and I know, I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure, you know, they could tell he grew in the beard, but nowadays, you know, you have 16 year olds and stuff like that growing beards and stuff like that, so, but how did he get past administration? How, how come other grown-ups couldn't pick up that that was a grown-up walking up and down the halls? I mean, man, I just don't know, man. What do y'all think about it? You know what I'm saying? Y'all drop your comments down below and tell me how y'all think he was able to fool the two high schools, the administration and the enrolling staffs and everything, and enrolling school. Drop your comments down below. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. Thank you to all my viewers, man. Shout out to y'all, all my listeners. Shout out to y'all. Thank you to all my subscribers. Shout out to y'all. We on our way to a million subscribers. We ain't going to let nothing stop us. We're going to keep pushing this truth. We're going to keep exposing these devils so that their name can live on in history so that anybody that come in contact with them can search their name. And then this truth that we produced will be out there to help save more children, women, and our families. With that being said, I say shallow one.